did. I just don't believe it. I mean, one week I'm drowning in water, another week I'm gasping for it. Any, any chance of a drink? Thanks, thanks. Cheers. That hits the spot. Anyway, uh, did you get my postcard? From sunny Nineveh? Dreadful place. Give me Belfast uh, any day of the week. Uh, but you'll never guess what happened after I wrote the postcard. Uh, there I was. I had done all that God had asked me to. I told the Ninevites exactly what God thought of them. I, I didn't miss them and hit the wall, I'll tell you. Uh, I, I told them that they had 40 days before God was going to destroy them. And you should have seen their faces. They knew their number was up. I I'd really got to them. And they started weeping and wailing and did the old sackcloth and ashes bit. It's always the same. Uh, tell people they're doomed and they start on how dreadfully sorry they are. Well, I said, it's too late. Forty days and you've had your chips. So, forty days later, I pack my bag and head out into the desert to the east of the city, sit myself down on the hill above the city to watch the fireworks. And nothing. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that once God saw all their tears and how, heard how dreadfully sorry they all were, that, that he would change his mind. Too soft. That's what he is. Far too soft. I sat there all day in the shade of a bush, furious with God. I mean, well, could you blame me? Why bother with all that palaver over the over the big fish and everything, only to have me to go to Nineveh and make a liar out of me? Why didn't he just let me drown? I, I told him I didn't miss him and hit the wall either. I, I told him, just let me die, I said. There's no point in living anymore. And I went to sleep. But if, as if that wasn't bad enough, the next day when I woke up, the bush I'd been sitting under was dead and the wind was whipping up a sandstorm and the sun was beating down. And that was it, the final straw. How dare God treat one of his servants like that and let the Ninevites off scot-free? I mean, if he treats his friends like that, it's little wonder he has so few of them. The only comfort I had was one single, solitary bush, and he just let it die. Just let me die too, I said. And all that God said in return was, what are more important, plants or people? I really don't know.